So let's do a quick video on how to change the oil. You just take and undo this. There is a gasket on this. You just wanna make sure that you get that gasket with it. Um, if you lose the gasket, it's no big deal. Um, they're pretty easy to find at an automotive store, but um, anyways, you do wanna keep that gasket. What we'll do is we'll drain out the oil. We run our oil pretty aggressively and we do a lot of kind of destructive tests on our oil. So it's not uncommon to get oil that's this dark. This is darker than normal, but it's not uncommon to get oil this dark. Uh, but generally oil will come clear or it'll be like a very, very light amber. And then after you've used it a few times, you know, it'll kind of turn to this more like darker amber color. You want to just filter it out, put it in a inverted water filter, or um, you can sit it in a bucket and just kind of let it sit and let all the water come out of it. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm getting water uh, out of the out of the pump so you just want to tilt it forward make sure that everything is out of the pump uh, make sure there's no water in it and then you go ahead and just put your set screw back in and anything that says vacuum pump oil is going to work there's really only like one weight when it comes to vacuum pump oil Dairyland is one of the oils that uh, that we kind of like so Dairyland oil is a vacuum pump oil that is meant for the dairy industry. I like it because it has more detergents in it uh, to kind of clean the pump out and keep it nice. I know there are companies out there that say that you're not supposed to use it, but I think that might be because it's one of the cheaper oils. So Dairyland oil is actually like it, dollar for dollar, it's actually the cheapest oil. But the fact that, it, again, it's meant for the dairy industry means that it can take water, it can, you know, has a lot of good detergents in it. Like I said, anything that says vacuum pump oil is going to work. Once we get this drained out, we're gonna want to refill it. So test my automotive oil pouring skills. And you don't want to uh, fill this too quickly because if you fill it too quickly, it will create like an air bubble and you'll end up flowing out the top here. So you want to fill it kind of slow. Uh, I want to fill to one third of the way up the sight glass. Essentially, once I see oil start to touch the bottom of the sight glass, I'm going to stop pouring because it's going to continue to drain. If I overfill it a little bit, that's totally fine. Um, not a big deal at all. Um, if you do overfill it, it will draw a few more amps. Get it somewhere between one third and like a half of up the way of the sight glass. One thing that's kind of funny about uh, Dairyland oil is that uh, they dye it blue so that way you can see it in a dairy because generally dairies are apparently not very well lit or at least they used to not be very well lit. So they dyed it blue so that way you could see this line better. So here is, uh, we've got it about one third of the way up the sight glass now. Um, that's about where you want it. I'm not worried about mixing oils as long as it has oil, it's good. I can mix, you know, Dairyland, Black Gold, uh, Robin Air, like you can mix the oils machine's not going to care. And then once we get it filled, we just reinstall the air, uh, oil mist filter. And these are plastic threads, so, you know, don't kill them. Treat them like plastic threads. Um, I like to use gloves when I'm doing this, just because as a paramedic, I went through tons and tons of gloves. <laughs> so uh, I personally like to wear gloves. Um, you don't have to though. So that's all you gotta do in order to change your oil. Pretty simple process. If you have questions, just give us a call.